Let's mess around on these decks and see what we got. Yo, I am super rusty, man. Let's get right to it, boys and girls. Just messing around on the decks a little bit. Let me turn down the music before I get a copyright ding, which I probably will. As you can tell, man, um, I'm not used to cutting up on, uh, on controllers yet. The timing seems to be off a little, man. But, you know, I used to do a lot of mixes on my haul videos, so I thought I'd go back to the old school a little bit. So I just wanted to show off some books uh, that I've been sitting on. Enjoy the music there. That is the theme from SWAT, believe it or not. You see, I'll break it down like this. I'm just going to keep on looping it, to be honest with you. One of the dopest B-Boy breaks ever was from the theme song from SWAT. Uh, let me show off some books that I got recently, man. Um, I got this off of my man. Let me see. I want to think. Uh, shout out to GPAP, first of all. I got these books from him on an auction that he had. Uh, and it was absolutely a huge auction that he had. Gene Paul Ace Peter. Uh, and I got a couple of books from him. Let me see if I can do this again. This is Strange Tales 126. This, of course, is the first appearance of Clea and Dormammu. <clears throat> this, believe it or not, is my third copy of this. But you know what? It was for a good cause. My man G-Pap wanted to sell some stuff. Also picked up... Oh, shoot. That dang. This bad boy. Fantastic Four, number 27. I do believe this is the first crossover in Fantastic Four that features Doctor Strange. That's awesome. <laughs> Still in the mix, yo. I don't know if I showed these off yet, but I am going to show them again because I don't remember that I ever did, to be honest with you. This is the first appearance of the Sentry. Sentry number one. There is a variant for this, too. That's pretty... Uh, I think it's the San Diego Comic-Con variant, but this book is picking up right now. This... I'm, I'm trying to remember if I showed this or not, man. I have it sitting around, so I'm assuming I didn't show this. This is What If, starring Spider... Uh, what If... Featuring Spider-Man, this is the first appearance of Spider-Girl, supposedly. I got a second copy of this. I know that for sure. I only showed one so far. This, of course, is the first appearance of Peggy Carter as Captain America or Captain Britain, whatever. You know, the new What If animated series is going to be based on her story. So this is pretty cool to get. This is an Exiles number three variant. Also, pick this up. If you know, we've been specking on this as I switch to the mix. This is Master of Kung Fu King Size Annual Number One, the first ever appearance of Shang Chi and Iron Fist in the comic books. So that's pretty cool. You guys know I've been specking this hard, big time. I picked up two copies of this. This is the uh, uh, Miko C. Yuan variant for Ag New Agents of Atlas Number One. This is the regular cover variant. This is the Virgin cover. This is really hard to find right now. Super hot book. I'm gonna get those graded. And I got some slabs, man. I got these slabs so long ago, I don't think I've ever shown them, man. I might have to back up here a little bit. I definitely won't be able to mix. It'd be too far away. This is Strange Tales 180. This is the first appearance of Gamora. And a beautiful nine too, man. I got, I could have swear I got this like four months ago. <laughs> and I was completing my little Strange Tales run. This bad boy, Strange Tales 179, the first appearance of Pip the Troll, which was on our long-term spec list, if I recall.
in the mix, as we say. Um, I could have swore I showed this on the, I don't know if it was on the new channel or the old channel, but either way, man, this is Spider Woman number two. This is the first appearance of what's her name? Morgana Le Fay, Morgan Le Fay, man. She's going to be the villain in the upcoming Hulu uh, series for Runaways. It doesn't say it on here, but prior to this, she was only Morgan Le Fay was in the. Um, she was in the, what I want to say, God dang it. She was in the black Knight under Atlas comics. So yeah, sorry, man. Shh. Also pick up this bad boy. We've been specking on this badly. This is Excalibur number one, the special edition. This is the first appearance of Excalibur. Uh, this is the regular 325 variant. There's also a no price variant. This is my fourth copy, by the way. So this is beautiful 98 white pages. Last but not least, it's this bad boy I just picked up. Oh, yes. Marvel Premiere number 15, the first appearance of Finn Jones. Excuse me. First appearance of Danny Rand is Iron Fist, man. This is the old label 9.0. You know I'm going to crack this, press it, and slab it, and hopefully get back a higher grade, man. So um, as we've been talking about, um, this character is going to be debuting in Shang-Chi sequel. So look out for that. So that's, I think I'm all caught up as far as all my books are now, boys and girls. Uh, everything, I can finally put everything away. So I uh, hope you guys appreciate that video and some of my whack DJ skills at the, earlier. <laughs> it's about the first time I've done that in about a year now. I'm used to cutting it up on 1200s, but uh, it takes a little custom, accustomed to to get on these controllers. So uh, that's it, boys and girls. I'm going to post this video sometime this week. It may be Friday, it may be Tuesday. You never know. Uh, but I'm going to be also posting up a video of, um, we talked about on Collector Series, um, Mark Jeweler insert variants. And I have a little video that I did a while ago that I think was on the old channel that I'm going to repost to kind of talk about and look at the internals of what a Mark Jeweler is. Uh, we talked about it on our last show. So hope you guys enjoy your week or your weekend, depending on when this video comes up. Until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.